Hello and welcome to today's Cosmic Connection where we're going to look at today's planetary movements and see how their energies and influence may guide us through the day. Today we are looking at Sunday the 8th of October 2023. Today's energy is dominated by Venus shifting into Virgo this evening and leaving its shadow period, giving a complete shift of energy for our heart center, our relationships, and how we give and receive love. This shift is going to feel more noticeable as Venus spent an abnormal amount of time in Leo as it had its not-so-annual retrograde there, and it was on the longer side of Venus's retrogrades. Venus retrogrades can vary in length, so this prolonged transit really opened our heart to our inner strength and the importance we have in balancing our energies and how we give. For some, this shift is going to be obvious. Things are going to feel different. For others, things are going to feel lighter as we shift into a less emotional, more grounded energy. Now, before this shift in Venus's energy, we see the moon now in Leo connecting with Mercury in Libra in a cooperative sextile. Sextiles bring energies together to blend and work together. The moon in Leo is about connecting to our inner heart, our inner lion, allowing us to bring our more vulnerable side to the surface to shine. Leo is the fixed fire sign. It is about getting things started in order to make them stick. It is the energy of following the heart and going for the things we love. Fixed energy is an energy that aids us in our consistency and in turning up for the things we value and love. So this transit of the waning moon in Leo with Mercury in Libra is going to open us up to how we communicate our heart space, our love, our strengths in balanced ways with others. Mercury in Libra is about balanced communication, communication that has been assessed and deemed in harmony with our being, allowing us to communicate in balanced forms that are honest and open. This is allowing us to be true in our relationships to others and ourselves. For some, this is going to be raw, and we may hear or say things that hurt, that sting, that make us think. These things aren't necessarily being said to hurt us. They are being said to awaken us to the interactions that we have allowing us to see what's not in harmony with who we are, that is not balanced to the energies that we want to bring into our being. For others, this is going to allow us to communicate from a balance, a balanced, a balance of kindness, of honesty, of openness, allowing us to say the things we need to say to bring balance to the relationships we have. Sometimes the most loving things we can do for ourselves is to say the things that are hardest to say. We may have to hurt someone with our words in order to get them to understand. But we also need to know that it is not okay to allow people to continuously treat us badly too. So these energies coming together under this loving vibration of Venus shifting here is really asking us to look at ourselves and the things we desire, asking us to have the courage to speak our truth, to express ourselves in our authentic form. The power speaking our truth has is unlimited. By saying those things we have held within, we can release them to the universe and allow that energy to dissipate and expand. It allows us to release emotional energy, blocking, unblocking the restrictions we have held within. This connection of our inner self our emotional self, our intuitive self, in the sign of, the, of Leo, the lion, the strength and courage to stand in our power, in our pride, with our communication center, our mind, our processing and forms of expression, in the balancing, harmonious, diplomatic sign of Libra, is really a harmonious union of inner empowerment with balanced connection, allowing you to express and expand yourself in ways unknown. A beautiful connection to open us up to the expansion our expression can bring, allowing us to see how our expressions are received by others. This reflection allows us to adapt the ways we communicate to bring harmony to the words we have. For everyone understands and interprets things differently, so it's important to bring clarity to the words that we use. 
perfect energy to empower us to speak our mind, to speak our truth, to express ourselves, and to understand that our expressions and ways of communication will grow and evolve as we grow and evolve. Around the same time Venus shifts into Virgo, we see Mars in Libra connecting intention in a square aspect with Pluto in void, of course. So we have Mars here close to shifting into Scorpio, connecting in a square aspect with Pluto in void, of course. Mars in Libra is all about balanced action and allowing us to put our energies into action, our direction into sustainable and harmonious ways. This transit has allowed us to bring our minds into our actions as we start new ways of thinking, understanding, and processing, allowing us to express ourselves in ways that are in alignment with our truest self. This connection to our balanced action, our working in alignment with our needs and wants, this energy of driving ourselves forward... Meeting in conflict with Pluto in its raw power, the planet of transformation, cycles, the ways we rise and expand, is really going to push us into confronting our transformation and seeing if we are acting in ways that allow us to transform or have we been keeping ourselves as we stand. Pluto, the planet of transformation, getting ready to shift direct from inner reflection to outward expansion is really going, getting us ready to step into our growth, to step into our potential, to get ready for our transformational shift into Aquarius next year. As a collective planet, Pluto affects us all more generally, more collectively. So this energy of expansion, teetering on the edge of Aquarius and Capricorn, hanging around in void, of course, is really asking us to see how we can expand at, its raw, at our rawest point, allowing us to see how we can expand from the transformations we have put into action. This connection of Mars in Libra is asking us to act, to act on this transformative energy, this need to bring change, and to continue the cycles through to the end, knowing that at the end we can be reborn in our newest, most authentic form for change is constant. As Pluto will teeter on the edge of Aquarius, of Capricorn and Aquarius in void of course, until next year, we are going to really feel this raw energy and need to transform more innately, thus being pushed into continuous action to continually transform and grow. These two planets meeting in tension, in challenge, in a square aspect, is asking us to make a compromise and move forward. It is asking us what actions we can take to balance our transformation, to allow us to take those constant steps forward that bring us into change. We cannot just expect to feel the need to change something and have it transform immediately. We need to learn to act. We need to learn to take those actions of change consistently in order for us to truly change and the effects of that transformation to expand. As we learn to act in balanced ways, we can see how we spur our transformation with our actions. This understanding of cause and effect is going to allow us to bring kindness and understanding to our approach to change, allowing us to be more accepting of the cycles and processes and understanding our role is bringing these, expand these changing expansions of ourselves. We must get behind our actions in order to make the changes that will transform our growth. So this square aspect is asking us to make a choice and go in that direction, accept that the action, accepting that the actions this choice brings will allow us to balance and transform. Really, what are you waiting for? Remember, if your choices and actions take you to a place you don't want to be, you can always turn around and try another direction. Shortly after this meeting of Mars and Pluto, we see Venus shift into Virgo, the mutable earth sign. Mutable signs are all about change, about keeping the flow of change in place to allow us to stay grounded in our reality. Earth signs are very grounding, enabling us to be in the present, allowing us to see the changes as they come. 
Virgo is the practical, analytical, logical, organized energy of the zodiac that brings together information and energy and digests it into understandable forms, allowing us to get things done through planned intentional action. It is the power of moving forward for ourselves, the power of hard work, and the skills and abilities to get things done. Venus moving into this powerhouse sign, Virgo, is going to allow us to work harder on our relationships, allowing us to assess our values and our actions. This assessment will allow us to see what's working in our relationships and what is not. It may even show us what relationships are toxic and not working, allowing us to release and step away from relationships that are detrimental to our growth, our well-being, our peace. Venus in Virgo is going to be looking at things in closer detail, allowing us to see the patterns and interactions we have in a new light. From these changes of perspective, we can see how our actions and reactions influence and affect others. Just as we understand others' actions and reactions influence and affect others and ourselves, allowing us to see the bigger picture. This focus on the details and the bigger picture is going to allow us to see our relationships from many sides, allowing us to see what values we bring to these relationships and what values these relationships bring to us. It's going to allow us to see if we are giving and receiving what we deserve. Now, this focus on the nitty gritty on the details could lead to some tension as we pick, apart, pick our relationships apart. So be mindful of dissecting things too far. The point of looking at things in detail is to determine the overall picture, not to point out our aspects that have certain effects. Remember, we are all human and not everyone is good at processing their cause and effects. But also remember that it is never okay to have someone treat you like shit over and over again. Those people won't ever enhance your life. Now, all this relationship ana analysis is going to have a beneficial effect as we learn exactly what we need and want in our relationships and can see which relationships give us the things we need. Now, we don't want to set expectations on things as we learn to release those expect expectations on our love during Venus's transit through Leo. What we want is to be open and honest about the things we need and the things that really hurt. Sometimes people don't see the true effect of their actions. Sometimes they do. So use your discernment to establish those who hurt you on purpose and those who don't mean to upset. Virgo is a very honest transit as she brings together information and processes in new ways. As Virgo is ruled by Mercury, there is a level of communication that comes with these new ways of processing, which allows us to bring these mercurial aspects to this transit with Venus allowing us to communicate from the heart in ways that empower us as individuals. This empowerment of ourself for ourselves is really going to push us into the ways we stand up for ourselves and the ways that we interact in our relationships with others, bringing a whole new level of communication to those relationships we wish to grow. It's also going to allow us to see the aspects and traits of ourselves that are beneficial and supportive to our relationships, as well as those that are not giving us a chance to take practical action to make changes to the actions and habits we can't stand, the ones that hurt others, the ones that hurt ourselves. This push to change the things that aren't beneficial to our relationships and to the relationship with ourself is really going to allow us to work harder in our relationships, turning up in new and profound ways. These new in interactions are really going to bring our, our relationships into our growth allowing them to expand and deepen as we learn to share and accept the changes that pass. A very powerful transit that is going to bring a new level of communication to our heart center, and we learn to see it in the power of our logical mind, detaching and grounding us from our emotions in a way that allows us to assess change without creating emotional pain. Virgo is allowing us to digest our relationships as a whole to enable us to step forward or to step out. Now, Venus is also the ruler of our unconditional love. So this aspect through Virgo is going to be encouraging us to open up our love in new and profound ways, encouraging us to communicate our love in ways that align with our newest self, giving us a great opportunity to expand how we, in how we intentionally give our love. However this transit interacts with ourselves, it's going to be personal as Venus is a personal planet. But know that wherever it takes you, it will deepen your relationship with yourself and others, as well as allowing you to expand the ways that you communicate your love. 
not long after Venus moves into Virgo, we see the waning moon in Leo form a challenging square aspect with Jupiter in Taurus in retrograde motion. Jupiter in Taurus has been about grounding our abundance in our material world, encouraging us to manifest the things we desire. We have been learning how to nourish the seeds we have planted, taking intentional action along the way to aid their, their growth. This has allowed us to bring things into creation. Jupiter is the planet of abundance, of expansion, of infinite potential and growth. It's the miracle grow of the universe, encouraging us to expand and grow, nourishing us with all that we need. Taurus is the fixed earth sign, fixing those things we need into our routines and patterns, into our being to allow us to be present and nourish our needs. While in retrograde, Jupiter and Taurus has been expanding those inner restrictions that block our expansion, bringing them to the surface to be acknowledged and released, allowing us to release the restrictions allowing us to release the inner <clears throat> allowing us to release the restricting inner patterns that limit our growth with these release blockages we are able to bring into expansion the things we want and need so this connection of jupiter in taurus in retrograde motion with the moon in leo in challenge is really asking us to look within and see what block what's blocking our growth, what's blocking us from bravely going forward. The moon, our inner self, our emotional self, our intuitive self, in Leo, the sign of our heart, of the bravery to stand, of the bravery to stand in our pride, connecting to the challenge of our infinite inner potential. So this connection of our inner brave self with our inner infinite potential is asking us to step out of our way to make a decision and move forward. For some, this is going to allow us to see the emotional reactions that have been blocking us from bringing things into being. For others, this is going to show us where we have been restricting our love, where we still hold conditions on the love we give and receive. For others, this is going to give us the bravery to allow those inner expansions to come to the surface and allow them to be processed and released allowing us to see the choices we need to take in order to grow. This conflict of energy and challenge, this conflict of en energy challenging us to see both sides of the story in order to determine our next step forwards, challenging us to make a choice, to come to a compromise, to release and grow. The perfect energy to wrap up a day that has been filled with balanced communication inner heartfelt emotion, intentional actions, transformation, digestion of our relationships, and releasing blockages to our growth. Perfect energies to encourage us to assess and release in order to move forward, allowing us to shed the past just as the leaves around us begin to shed and release in order to preserve their energy and invest in their future growth. All the changes and decisions you make today are investments in yourself in your future so allow those changes and actions to take you into your next form of being until tomorrow goodbye my friends